Hey guys, so today I want to show you how to get the best results using Adobe Firefly for your coloring pages, whether you're trying to make these to sell, to print, whatever the case may be. So I know sometimes it's hard to get a result that has, you know, clean lines, bold lines, there's no gray areas. So I'll show you what I do and hopefully this helps you as well. So first of all, I don't like to reinvent the wheel every time. I do not create my own prompt I just google best AI coloring book prompt and you get a whole lot of websites with prompts that are way better than anything I can come up with and you know why why have to figure this out every single time so starting with literally the first page that showed up in my search results let's see what people are using so here's um I mean there's a bunch of ideas but let's say this is what I'm looking for this kind of um, I mean not necessarily image but the kind of style so what I do is I just copy exactly what it says here and replace it with whatever it is I'm looking to generate. All right, so now that we're in Adobe Firefly, let's paste that prompt that we copied. I mean, I'm going to keep this the same. I'm going to keep as elephant, obviously change it to whatever it is you're trying to generate, cat, dog, uh, a city, whatever it may be. But let's generate it as is and just see the results we get. Okay, so obviously this is like super shaded, definitely not perfect for coloring and needs a little bit more work here. So if you try any of these like composition references, honestly, it doesn't make it any better. I tried, it still all looks bad. So what I like to do is open up some of these effects that we got here. So let's go... Um, into well first of all let's try the visual intensity to be a little lower well, all the way to zero okay so this already gives us a better result than this did but now let's turn on a couple of these so what i like to do for starters is flat design and also vector glow so let's see what we get with these two styling options okay so way better. I mean, as you can see, not all of them are way better. I mean, this one is still not perfect. This one is way better. This one is, I think, perfect. But it's still way better from this initial result. So now we can look at this one. We can even upscale it if we wanted to. We can download as is. I think this is a pretty decent result. Um, let's see if we can just maybe uh, generate similar and hopefully get a few other ones just like that okay yeah so pretty good i mean this was this is what we had before and this is what happens when we click generate similar so when you do the generate similar you might get even better results you might get similar results it really all depends you just have to keep playing around with it if i just hit generate again yeah so now we get some variations maybe something like that so the next step would be, if you found this image perfect, would be to click upscale and have it show up in a way, way better quality so you can actually download it and use it for your books. And let's see, yeah, this is obviously way better. So here's where we started and this is where, well, not here, this is where we landed. I hope this helps you if you're trying all the kinds of options that Adobe Firefly has to offer and you're just getting mixed results. What I, I have played around with all of them and what I've learned is that these two, just the flat design and the vector look and making sure that your uh, visual intensity is all the way to zero is what gives me the result I'm actually looking for. Anyway, let me know if this helps you. If it didn't help you, um, what else you're looking to get help with when it comes to Adobe Firefly or uh, generating any results um, for your coloring books. Happy to help.